Hi everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome to Center of Balance Live. I'm Sunan Pua from Center of Balance, the acupuncturist. Well, today's topic we're going to talk about um, depression tests. Depression tests. Uh, we mainly going to talk about uh, one of the. Uh, we, there, there are a lot of a few of the uh, depression tests. We're going to talk about uh, back, um, back. Uh, depression inventory, right? Hello, nice to meet you guys. Thank you for saying hello. All right, if you're here, please um, on Facebook or uh, Facebook or uh, Instagram or uh, in YouTube, please say hi to me and please um, give you a thumbs up as well. Now, I'm on my Facebook at the moment and try to share this live video and uh, please share this live video as well now after this we're gonna start this uh, topic for today Hello. Um, so Eva I'm not quite sure what you mean inbox me for reading okay here you go now I'm gonna show you this <coughs> question tests right okay let's show you on my Facebook and go to the uh, Instagram to hi happy day how are you I'm good thank you thank you thank you um hi my personal Instagram uh, put on my personal Instagram as well there we go alright let's start now um, unfortunately there the, the isn't a single test to diagnose depression right? to be honest there is no one single test can diagnose uh, uh, depression and same as anxiety, right? We talk about anxiety. There's no single test that can diagnose anxiety. So, in there is no like a blood test or a CT scan, X-ray, ultrasound that you've done and will be able to diagnose you according to that. But is it worth it to do a, a blood test? Yes, it is because you want to rule out other issues right? if you have depression and you have some physical function symptoms like pain then you want to rule out arthritis right if you have pain in the joint you want to rule out his arthritis his, there's arthritis there's bone the cartilage change so you need to do a skin x-ray right? or MRI now also blood test because we want to rule out remote arthritis right then if you rule out those then you still have pain then it could come from depression right does it make sense All right so we said there isn't a single test to diagnose depression but um, your doctor the GP uh, can make a diagnosis based on your symptoms and a psychological evaluation so in most cases they will ask you a series of questions about your mood appetite sleep pattern activity level and thoughts because depression can be linked to other health problems so, so your doctor may also conduct a physical examination and all the blood tests for you but sometimes thyroid problem or a vitamin D deficiency can trigger symptoms of depression right. so you have to rule out all those things thyroid issue, vitamin D uh, deficiency and to rule out thyroid and um, vitamin D deficiency just get uh, blood tests 
and we're well, those two problems, right? So don't ignore the symptoms of the um, depression. If your mood doesn't improve or get worse, worse, you need to get help, right? So normally I would say about three months. If you quite low and sad for about three months, then I would say, hey, go for uh, see a doctor and to get help, right? To get opinion. The depression is a serious, serious mental health illness which with the potential for complications now, if left untreated complication can include weight gain or weight loss physical pain right? it can lead to pain it can lead to weight gain or weight loss uh, it can lead to panic attack panic attacks not fun at all and they need to it can cause relationship problem with your family with your social with your friend right with your daughter with your son right and social isolation right? you may not want to go out you just want to be in the, in the room and and no social life at all and the most serious thing is two things that if that happened definitely want to go to the doctor okay straight away right? self-harm which means cutting yourself right or thought of suicide you're not cutting yourself with, but you think of when to kill yourself when to kill yourself and that kind of thought is not good it's not good so you don't want those things happen but depression can lead to those Right. So um, we're going to talk about uh, one of the tests. You know, there are several tests that um, run like a test means uh, you take a questionnaire. So there are 21 self-reported depression question, which is in the uh, back uh, depression inventory. That's one of the one. Uh, easy one that you can take the questionnaire and to understand whether you have um, suffered from depression or not right so there's another and a few 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 more which is one of them called uh, Hamilton depression rating scale and the other one called uh, Jane self John sorry John self rating scale for depression right so there are a few there are three of them in here so I'm gonna we're going to go through uh, one of them, it's called Back Depression Inventory, right? So there are 21 questions, let's have a look. So this depression inventory can be self-scored. The scoring scale is at the end of the question, all right? I got this, uh, um, all the questions in here. So it's from 0, 1, 2, 3, right? Four questions, four questions. So whatever you, the answer is, and you got the mark, you got the point for yourself, right? So the first one is, I do not feel sad. I, that's zero point. I feel sad, right? So that's zero point. I'm gonna put it in here. Zero point. I do not feel sad. I feel sad. Number two, two point. I am sad all the time, and I can't snap out of it. Three, I am so sad and unhappy that I can't stand it. So you rate yourself. You question, you answer the question, and you rate yourself on a number. And what? What else? Number two, question. I'm not particularly this uh, courage about the, the future. I feel this courage about the future. I feel I have nothing to look forward to. I feel the future is hopeless and that things cannot improve. For answer, then you just score yourself. Number three, zero. I do not feel like a fail failure. One point is I feel I have failed more than the average person. Two point. 
as I look back on my life, all I can see is a lot of failures. Number three point, I feel I am a complete failure as a person. That's three point. Right. Which one do you choose? Okay. Four. Number four question. Um, your point, I get as much satisfaction out of things as I used to. One point, that was zero point, that's one point answer now. Uh, I don't enjoy things the way I used to. That's one point. If you choose that one, that's one point. Two point question, I don't get real satisfaction out of anything anymore. And three point, I'm dissatisfied or bored because uh, with everything. That's three point. Five, zero point, I don't feel particularly guilty. One point, I feel guilty a good part of the time. Two point, I feel quite guilty most of the time. Three point, I feel guilty all the time. So you can answer this then to check out whether you suffer from depression or not. So this is a simple test. You can score it yourself. Uh, if you have other physical symptoms, you need to do some other tests. I don't feel I'm being punished. That's zero point. So one point is I feel I may be punished. Two points I expect to be punished. Three point. I feel I'm being punished. That's three point. Seven. Zero point. I don't feel disappointed in myself. One point. I am disappointed in myself. Two point. I am disgust disgusted with myself. Three point. I hate myself. Okay, number eight. Zero point. I don't feel I am any worse than anybody else. One point, I'm critical of myself for my weaknesses or mistakes. Two point, I blame myself all the time for my fat, fail, fail, faults. Sorry, faults. Three point, I blame myself for everything bad that happens. That's three point. The number nine, zero point, I don't have any thought of killing myself. One point, I have thought of killing myself, but I would not carry them out. Two point, I would like to kill myself. Three, I would kill myself if I had the chance. Number 10, zero point, I don't cry any more than usual. One point, I cry now than I used to. <coughs> oh, bless me. Two point, I cry all the time. Now, three point, I used to be able to cry, but now I can't cry even though I want to. <coughs> oh, bless me. Okay, now there's more to go. I want to name one by one and share with you. I just want to sleep. Okay now. Okay, eleven. Your point. I am no more irrit um irritated by things that I ever was. One point. I am slightly more irrit irritated now than usual. Two point. I'm quite annoyed or irritated a good deal of the time. Three point I feel irritated all the time. Right. Then twelve. Zero point I've not lost interest in other people. One point I'm less interest in other people than I used to be. Two point I have lost most my most of my interest in other people. Three point. I have 
lost all my interest in other people. 13. Zero point, I make decision about as well as I ever could. One point, I put off making decision more than I used to. Two point, I have greater difficulty in making decision more than I used to. Three point, I can't make decision at all anymore. Now, Forty. Zero point, I don't feel that I look any worse than I used to. One point, I am worried that I am looking old or unattractive. Two point, I feel there are permanent change in my appearance that make me look unattractive. <clears throat> Three point, I believe that I look ugly. Point. Fifteen, zero point, I can work about as well as before one point it takes an extra effort to get started at doing something two point i have to push myself very hard to do anything three point i can't do any work at all that's the words right so 16 zero point i can sleep as well as usual one point, I don't sleep as well as I used to. Two point, I wake up one to two hours earlier than usual and find it hard to get back to sleep. Three point, I wake up several hours earlier than I used to and cannot get back to sleep. Seventeen, zero, I don't get more tired than usual. One point, I get tired more easily than I used to. Two point, I get tired from doing almost anything. Three point, I am too tired to do anything. 18, my appetite, zero point, my appetite is no worse than usual. One point, my appetite is not as good as it used to be. Two point, my appetite is much worse now. Three point, I have no appetite at all anymore. All right. 19, Zero. I haven't lost much weight, if any, lately. One point, I have lost more than five pounds. Two, I have lost more than ten pounds. Three, I have lost more than fifteen pounds. Twenty. Zero. I am no more worried about my health than usual. One. I am worried about physical problems like ache, pain, upset stomach, or constipation. 2. I'm worried about physical problems and it's hard to think of much else. 3. Point, I am so worried about my physical problem then that I cannot think of anything else. Now, last question. 21 so that is zero i have not noticed any recent change in my interest in sex one point i'm less interested in sex than i used to be two i have almost no interest in sex three i have lost interest in sex completely so Interpreting the back uh, depression inventory. So now that you have completed the questionnaire, so add up the score for each of the twenty-one question by continue uh, counting by counting the number of the right of each question you marked. So um, the higher possible uh, total of your whole test would be sixty-three. This would mean you circle number 3 on all 21 questions. Since the lowest possible score of each question is 0, so the lower possible score of the test would be 0. This would mean you circle 0 on each question. You can evaluate 
your depletion account according to the table below. Right? So you add up all the score, and if you get between one to ten, this up and down are considered normal. But you may get some uh, emotional, but that is normal. Right? Between eleven and sixteen, mal mal mood disturbance. This disturbance, yeah. So a bit, a bit of mood problem, emotional, right? It's not a major one. So seventeen to twenty, if you get the number seventeen twenty, so borderline clinical depression. If you get seventeen to twenty, there's a problem. So you you, you need to see a doctor. Twenty one to thirty, twenty one to thirty, moderate depression moderate depression 31 to 40 severe depression severe depression if it's over 40 that's extreme depression extreme depression right so this is a very good um, question eight that uh, you should if you're patient uh, you should print it out uh, well, I can I put remember this now uh, list the uh, uh, um, the what um, uh, the link that you guys can go and have a look down, down underneath uh, then for all of you um, you can download and score it yourself um, I'll put it on our website and then you can you can do it yourself okay so uh, check down there so after this video I want to put the link down this video so you can you can download it all right now uh, further on I'm going to uh, because we're doing this oops no pain so, so hang on a second now if you are uh, on my live video on my Facebook or YouTube there's uh, my clinic page and you live in uh, Hamilton Dunsdale you know around here in Hamilton area um, or Cambridge area or Auckland in New Zealand then if you suffer from you know, you, you will come to our clinic and we can uh, print out the uh, uh, form for you and you can take you can score and we can help you to, uh, to find out whether you suffer from depression or not and we can go through uh, 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 initial examination that's just forty dollars go through everything then in the end we'll give you a diagnosis according to TCM right to find out which organ out of balance by right, causing your problem the physical symptoms and as well as emotional energy out of balance right. then um, we'll give you a plan and let you know how we can help you and how much it's going to cost you and how um, how everything related to your emotion and call us on 07-846-7956 so 07 right call us or you can go down there to our website and have a look on uh, check out our website right for the practitioner right after this video I'm going to put the uh, uh, link underneath so you guys can download the, the chart right the questionnaire and use it on for your patient then uh, what else um, if you want to learn Chinese medicine and acupuncture if you're a practitioner and watching this video so go down there we have our website down there uh, you can register as free member and to log in to learn some basic acupuncture knowledge right. then we have actually a, a webinar and there is paid webinar so to learn acupuncture step by step right. uh, there is many for pain physical conditions and we're gonna have a, 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 a webinar course that is going to treat the internal disease 
so you can you can buy that in the future too but we haven't got it out yet right stay awesome i'll see you next time bye bye